dear students i am sinod jacob from st mary school i hope all of you are fine social science standard 8 part 1 introduction to social science before going to chapter i am going to explain for what we are studying social science what is the importance of studying social science in our life what is social science the scientific study of human society and the social relationship social science means the scientific study of systematic study of human society and social relationships social science is the branch of science devoted to the study of human societies and the relationship among the individuals within those societies this study of human society and the relationship of human being social science is the study of the activities the physical and the social environment it is important because its study helps us to gain knowledge of the society we live in generally social science focus on the relationship among individuals in society this social science includes a variety of ways from understanding how minds work how societies are as a whole function the major social science branches are anthropology archaeology economics geography history law linguistic politics psychology and sociology these subject are included in social science this knowledge will help us to social science focus on the relationships among individuals in a society so it is a mixture of uh, many subject like history geography political science economics sociology psychology and other related aspects also in school level social science include history geography civics out of this uh, history the study of past events clearly in human there means study of the past incident geography the study of the physical features of the air and its atmosphere and of human activity as it affect and is affected by this including the distribution of populations and resources and political and economic activities in civics the study of the rights and the duties of citizenship these three subjects history geography and civics included in a school level it is a wide subject we have a variety of scope and usefulness importance of studying social science the primary purpose of social science study is to help young people to develop the ability to make informed and reasoned decision for the public good as citizens of a culturally diverse democratic society in an interdependent world among students to create awareness among different functions or relationship among society their rights and duties and make them to become a good citizen of a country and aware about their different situations how to solve different problems and they want to as a good person culturally and want to make a independent decision towards various outcomes or a problem by providing relevant information and knowledge skill and attitudes the study of social science prepares students to grow as a active responsible and reflective members of society this social science will help to be a active responsible and reflective members of society man is enabled to solve practical problems it helps in becoming an efficient citizen of democracy it has significance to develop an international view point it helps forms man social character man is made duty bound it enlightens the path of progress and advancement 
it is important for moral progress of society important for institution and community to make him active responsible and a dutiful persons towards a country social science help you to grow as a good citizen and a good responsible active and a, a free thinker general objectives of social studies develop the ability in youngs to adopt the changing environment this social science will teach you how to adjust with various adverse situations and how to overcome that situations and the second point inculcate national consciousness and national unity in students and citizen it will encourage to be to become a good citizen with a democratic socialist and federal values with you and the make it nationalism among everyone and it will encourage to promote the well wishes of our nation so inculcate national consciousness and national unity in students and citizen by the study of social science and third one make students become good citizen who are capable and willing to develop the society every country is working for the welfare of them social science subject will help to improve your welfare activities and be a good citizen and capable and willing to develop the society into a advanced one inculcate in students developing in students the right types of values and attitude one of the major objective of social science develop in yourself good values we know that um, india have many good values and the world also following some of the indian traditions and their customs and values also good qualities good mentality that is the aim of uh, a aim of studying social science in school level in shortly it helps students to understand developments that are taking place in society and the world as well as their roles in shaping the future of the nation social studies or social science encourages students to engage in policy issues instead of just relying on the government to achieve desired outcome be the part of the government be the and as a well wisher of the country and we will promote unity and harmony among different persons different caste different religion removal of secularism and casteism and a different type of the unwanted practice from our society as a good social science student or study person they can promote good values and be a good citizen and following different type of the democratic values in their lives social science helps students to become better citizen subject like history geography civics that help to educate the students on political ideologies constitutional laws citizenship right rights and duty morals and virtues social code of conduct thus making children aware of their roles and responsibility these are the benefits of studying social science in our 8th class social science in first semester we have total nine chapters first chapter about arrival of europeans in india and second chapter what is around us third chapter indian constitution fourth chapter how the traders become rulers fifth chapter natural disasters sixth chapter effect of the british rule in india seventh chapter environmental changes eighth chapter role of parliament in democratic country And lastly the freedom movement of 1857 these are the history geography and civics included chapters about the eighth class social science everyone want to prepare for studying this classes okay, thank you